Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to Cow Calf Corner. This week, we address a question that I got recently from a producer. This is an Oklahoma commercial cow calf operation. They need to add a couple of Angus bulls this year. This producer had been through the country, looked at several seed stock operations, and had narrowed down his selection to five bulls that he was considering. So you can see on screen the five bulls that this producer had narrowed his selection decision down between their EPD values and the private treaty sales price for each one of these bulls. As we talk through this particular situation, what I would learn is that this producer plans to use bulls on four to six year old mature cows and the marketing plan is that all the calves will run on wheat after they wean them. These are spring calving cows and they will sell all the calves sired as yearlings. So in this case, as terminal sires, we can identify one economically important thing, that being yearling weight. And so as you take a look at those numbers on screen, we identify bull number five as the least expensive bull to purchase, purchase price of $5,500. And he's got a yearling weight EPD of 108. So using bull number five as our baseline at $5,500 and with that 108 yearling weight EPD, we're gonna take a look at every other bull in comparison this on this producer's list relative to what profit potential they create or take away relative to their initial purchase price. So bull number one with a yearling weight EPD of 120 is gonna sire eight pounds more yearling weight per calf. That value multiplied by 135 calves sired is going to result in an additional 1,620 pounds of pay weight that he generates as opposed to bull number five. That 1,620 extra pounds of yearling weight at a value of $2 per pound results to a dollar figure of 3,240. That bull's purchase price is 4,500 more than bull number fives. So we take the $3,240 that he generates in extra revenue we subtract the $4,500 additional cost of that bull right now, and that bull nets out costing us $1,260. And so in comparison to bull number five, bull number one is a poorer choice to the tune of costing an additional $1,260. Bull number two with a yearling weight EPD of 141 is expected to sire 33 pounds more yearling weight per calf, that multiplied by 135 calves sired, that results in 4,455 additional pounds of yearling weight. That 4,455 pounds at $2 a pound equates to $8,910. Now that bull cost 2,500 more than bull five. So the 8,910 subtract 2,500 gives us a value of $6,410. So bull number two, as compared to bull number five, even with the higher purchase price, is superior by $6,410. Bull number three is expected to sire 27 pounds more yearling weight per calf. That multiplied by 135 calves results in 3,645 more pounds of yearling weight that extra yearling weight multiplied by $2 a pound equates to $7,290. The purchase price of that bull is actually $7,000 more than bull number five. So the $7,290 subtract $7,000 by $290. Bull number three is at an advantage to bull number five. Bull number four is where it gets pretty interesting. That bull is expected to sire 49 pounds more yearling weight per calf, multiplied by 135 calves, results in 6,615 pounds by $2 a pound. That bull generates an additional $13,230 over his lifetime. He's gonna cost $2,000 more, so we subtract that from the 13,230. That bull nets out at an advantage of $11,230 and is a vastly superior choice to bull five by that margin. So 
profit potential created relative to the purchase price of the bulls. Bull number four creates the most profit potential is the best revenue generator followed by bull number two. I encourage producers to set a budget, evaluate your operation, take a look at your marketing endpoint and factor in these things as you make considerations on what a good bull's worth that in particular what bulls you're looking at can generate the most profit potential relative to the purchase price you invest in genetics in the spring of 2024. If producers would like to take a closer look at the math and the calculations I've worked through in this particular segment, please take a look at our March 11th Cow-Calf Corner newsletter where we spell this out in detail. And if you're interested in signing up for the Cow-Calf Corner newsletter, scan the QR code at the bottom of the screen that will get you in touch with Daryl, Paul, and I, and we'll get you on the mailing list. Thanks for joining us on Cow-Calf Corner.